Hey, today Mark Zuckerberg said sorry for Facebook's most recent scandal where users were being manipulated and possibly used to help meddle with election outcomes. You're not do going to delete your Facebook account, so what do you need to do to avoid being a pawn in someone else's evil army? Yeah, we know Facebook's evil, but we kind of still love it. Cousin Susie's humble brag pics from her OE, the silly gifts, Chuck Norris memes. Trawling through Mark Zuckerberg's website is our second favourite activity. And those Facebook quizzes. What does your pet say about your personality? If you're a pizza, what kind would you be? Are you a Miranda or a Samantha? A whistleblower named Christopher Wiley says some of those quizzes, these mini apps, they're dangerous. Not just for you. It would then go into their entire friend network and pull out all of the friends' data as well. Status updates, likes, in some cases, private messages. Now, we've heard that social media sites sell our data, but it's how they sell it. Most of us have no idea. This American family didn't. Just a few years ago, their lovely Christmas photo ended up on a billboard in the Czech Republic, hawking a grocery store's home delivery service. The hubbub around this current Facebook scandal is a group called Cambridge Analytica. A couple of hundred thousand people on Facebook used one of these quirky personality tests, and that gave the company access to the data of 50 million users. And we use that in America, and we use that in Africa. That's right. what we do as a company. Yeah. We've done it in Mexico, we've done it in Malaysia, and now we're going to Brazil. The accusation is that they took that data and targeted users to influence elections in the US and Africa. But come on, could an app really have affected the election of Donald Trump? Let's hear from Mr. Facebook himself. Do you believe Facebook impacted the results of the 2016 election? Oh, that's, that is hard. Um, you know, I think that it is, it's really hard for me to, to have a full assessment of that. Some big tech bosses have now called on users to hashtag delete Facebook. But are we really going to do that? Mark Zuckerberg has admitted Facebook made mistakes and he pledges to make it harder for apps to harvest our information. But what's the old expression? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Oh, look at that funny kitty. <laughs> oh, kitty. It's confusing, eh? Well, Professor Katina Michael joins us now. She's a board member of the Australian Privacy Foundation. And Katina, what do you reckon? Should I be deleting my Facebook account tonight? It is your choice, and buyer beware, caveat emptor, as we all learn as children. The question is whether we think the data breach has really penetrated our privacy too much and we've had enough. There are people following the delete Facebook hashtag uh, and have gone off the system. Are Facebook evil? It's not bad making money in business, but when you've got two billion subscribers and your whole model and whole business is built on advertising and micro-analyzing consumers, People have become products, and that's a bit evil, I think. Look, I still don't get it. How can you take my data and use it to influence an entire election? Well, I can analyse and micro-analyse the likes that you make online and create personality profiles using basic psychometrics. People are now saying with just 300 likes, Facebook knows you better than you actually know yourself and tell you what you should be doing through advertising. Do you think that people are getting the message that they need to be worried about their own privacy? People perhaps have cared about privacy but haven't realised the seriousness of the micro-analysis going on with our psychographics. Everyone should care about their right to privacy and the intrusion of their privacy, how anyone is misusing their personal information. So, Katina, given that, I mean, what can our viewers at home do if they want to fight back? Making sure that you're not downloading apps from anywhere based on Facebook login details and making sure that you're not just downloading apps which allow access to your camera, to your audio sensor, because some people are even saying now there are apps listening into your conversations. Would you ever take a quiz to find out which sex in the city character you are? Um, a lot of people uh, love psychographic quizzes and fill them out not realising where that data is going. Personally, I don't like those surveys, but there are people who do and, and they're at risk actually. Katina, thanks so much. Really appreciate it. Thanks for your time. Uh,
And by the way, one thing to note here on a serious matter is earlier in that story we talked about Miranda when we were actually showing a uh, shot of Carrie from Sex in the City. <laughs> so we'd like to apologise to all four women. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you guys know that there is a button on Facebook? You just click it once and all of a sudden you can download a zip file which can, contains all the data that you have ever entered into Facebook. Amazing. Really? It's extremely weird. And so I did that today, but I didn't do it to my Facebook account. I did it to yours, Jesse Mulligan. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, so <laughs> you're is right. that it? This, is, this, this stack right here uh, tells me so much stuff. And this is the kind of stuff that could potentially be getting shopped out to um, companies like Cambridge Analytica. So, for instance, I know that you joined Facebook in 2006. Yeah. I know that your dad's name is Nick Mulligan. I actually already knew that. Hi, Nick. Um, <laughs> I know that uh, you have sent 1,124 different messages. Wow. Your first message was to Jeff Lavin. Uh, it, was a bit of a, it was a bit of a weird... Should I read it? No, out? don't read it, no. Uh, Jeff was my flatmate in London, because I was living in London at the time. That's, yeah, so it's I was like, sweet. all right, geezer. But it's, yeah, but it's really creepy that you know all about it. Yeah, I feel creeped out knowing this. I don't need to know this stuff, and I definitely wouldn't want a company like Cambridge Analytica knowing this stuff about me either. It's, mm. yeah, it's super strange. So okay, Check your privacy settings. What are you going to do with that now? <laughs> Keep that <laughs> later. <laughs>